So let me tell you something you really need to know. History is lying to you. For over a thousand years, the Byzantine Empire thrived and spread throughout the Eastern Mediterranean until succumbing to Ottoman attacks in 1453. Except, the Byzantine Empire never existed. Now, okay, the Byzantine Empire existed, all that was actually true. There was an empire from the 4th to the 15th centuries AD in the Eastern Mediterranean area that eventually got conquered by the Ottoman Empire, and it was as real as it is interesting, which is very much so. Now, in 395 AD, the Roman Empire was split for the final time, and the West fell to invasions from various Germanic tribes in 476, while the Eastern half continued until 1453. So many historians today would say that Rome fell in the 15th century AD. People living in this Eastern Roman Empire likely would have agreed. Except most people in history books don't call it the Roman Empire. They call it the Byzantine Empire, when in fact they weren't necessarily separate empires. Really, they weren't so much the successors of the Roman Empire, or some half-decent sequel, but a continuation of the old empire. They used Roman law, enjoyed Roman-style entertainment, etc. They really were Romans, just with a few small changes that would inevitably happen with time. I mean, they lived the same lifestyles, but a thousand years is a long time to hold on to everything. One such difference starting around the 6th and 7th centuries was that they would start to speak Greek more often than Latin. And also they rarely control Rome itself, but... However, it's important to understand that the use of the Greek language in the Roman Empire wasn't a new thing. Once Rome conquered Greece in 146 BC, the Greek language continued to be used, and was even used by the Roman elite, in much the same way as the Romanovs of Russia liked to use French. Really, Greek was a sort of posh language of the Roman Empire. All the ordinary plebeians would speak Latin, but all the patricians would speak to each other in Greek. And many very well-educated Romans could speak both Latin and Greek. So where did this term Byzantine come from? Well, certainly not from those Greek-speaking Christian Romans we just talked about, but actually from historians during the Renaissance. See, the thing to know about the Eastern Roman Empire was that it was based in, well, the East. And after the fighting was settled and they reconquered Rome and lost Rome again, Rome became the seat of power for a new Western society. Further complicating things, Rome became the seat of the Catholic Church, and Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire, became the seat of the Eastern or Greek Orthodox Church. And they didn't get along very well. There was something about this big schism that happened in 1055 or something like that. In 800 AD, the Pope gave the King of France a special Christmas present. He decided that Charlemagne was now the first emperor of Rome in over 300 years, even though there had already been plenty of Roman emperors, just not in the city of Rome. You might remember from my History of Rome video how I never talked about the Eastern Roman Empire much, and that's because I decided to focus on Italy, and this highlights how, for the next 1500 years, people really thought the Roman Empire was, like, awesome. Constantinople called itself the Second Rome, but many empires, including Russia and the Ottomans who would inherit Constantinople and rename it Istanbul, insistently called themselves the Third Rome. I actually might make a video about this someday, it's pretty interesting. So, why did they wait until the Renaissance to give East Rome a new name? Because of the Enlightenment. And not just the Enlightenment, but the very idea that Europe was being re-enlightened after a thousand years of Dark Ages. The Renaissance, literally rebirth, was all about the idea that Europe was awesome during the age of the Greeks and the Romans, and then became all crappy for a thousand years, and then became awesome again when people remembered how awesome the Greeks and Romans were. And you largely see that when you see buildings built around that time, squints a little and forget that the Greeks and Romans probably never set foot in Berlin. And so naturally, the idea that the Roman Empire was still a thing that whole time kind of watered down the whole idea of Europe rediscovering itself. So they rebranded the Eastern Roman Empire as a whole different empire. As if to say, what? Romans? In the Dark Ages? No, that wasn't a thing. So where John Greed would argue that the Renaissance wasn't a thing, I'll actually go a step further and argue that the Byzantine Empire wasn't really a thing apart from a fancy title given to separate Rome from classical Rome. The empires were different in a lot of ways, but they weren't that different. Thanks again for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to learn something new every Sunday. And if you want to have a say in upcoming videos or anything like that, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Canubis to vote in polls that I frequently put up, and if you have your own suggestions, feel more than free to put them in the comments below or anywhere you can reach me, really.